H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Good morning everybody. Welcome to the session. My name is Ritu and I will be taking the session for you. Well, I'd like to give you a brief about H2K Infosys, about the course that you will be doing here, what exactly will you be learning through this course and why H2K Infosys. So let's just go through and I will take your questions at the end of the session. So let me give you a brief about H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is an e-verified business which is based out of Atlanta, Georgia. We provide software training to our customers both on-site and on-site. So if you're based out of Atlanta and you would like to come on-site for the training, you're most welcome to do that. So we have our weekend batches for that and you can get more information about this in case you want to do it. And if you are not based out of Atlanta, then we have a lot of sessions going on on-site, uh, online, which you can be a part of. We provide, we help you with job placement assistance. We have a proud clientele to boast about, such as GE, AT&T, Intercall, Dish Network, a few to name. So here, let's get started with actually what do we do? What are the different courses that we offer as H2K Enforces? So the different courses that we offer here are QA testing. So that is basically the manual and the automation that we offer. There are a lot of courses that you can take up for performance testing, SAP testing, mainframe testing, JUnit testing, ETL testing, just to name a few. We, have, we also have advanced courses in automation testing. We have advanced courses in performance testing using H, uh, HP Load, Load Runner. We have courses on business analysis, analysis, project management, Java, J2E, Microsoft .NET technologies, data warehouse, Informatica, business objects. So these are the different courses that we have. Oracle, SQA, SQL Server, DBA, Oracle, DBA, Ruby, Rails. So these are some of the courses that we go ahead and offer. And it really depends on what exactly interests you. And you could take any of the courses that are available with us. But the focus for today is going to be a course on QA manual and automation testing that we are going to talk about. So let me go ahead and give you a basic overview of the syllabus that we have for this particular course. So here this is the course syllabus that we have. So this is manual as well as automation. So what are we going to tell you or talk to you about in this particular course? We will start with the basics. So here basics means there are a lot of people who take up this course and they're from the non-ID background. So we give you a little bit overview about basic terminology, which is technical. And if you know it, it would make your life a little easier in the IT world. Then we talk about the software development life cycle. So here in software development life cycle, there are different methodologies. So we'd go ahead and cover the different methodologies such as there is agile, there is waterfall, just to name a few that we talk about in the course. Then we have the basic terms. Now, what kind of basic terms we talk about here? What exactly is the functionality? What do you go ahead and understand by a three-tier architecture? What are the different testing terms that we can talk about here? What is a build? So again, these are the different terms that just to name a few, I mean, there are many more here, but just to name a, mu a few that what exactly do we do here? Then we are going to talk about all the different kinds of testings that you might come across as a, as a, uh, as a QA, you might come across in your career path. So we'll talk about all the different kinds of testing, such as exploratory testing. We'll talk about smoke testing. We'll talk about sanity testing. We'll go ahead and talk about performance testing. So these are just to name a few kind of testing. What is the difference between manual and automation testing? What do you actually mean by um, alpha testing, beta testing? What do you mean by UAT testing? So these are the different terms that we are going to talk about here. 
Once we are done with the basic terms, we are done with the different types of testings, we actually come to understanding the requirements. So as a tester, this is one of the important things we do that we understand the requirements. So here when I say understand the requirements, we will actually take examples. So this is not going to be like, you know, the theory part. We actually pick up examples. We actually go ahead and discuss those examples and how can we understand them. We will help you to do it by taking a few examples here. Once we are done this, uh, done with the understanding the requirements, how do you actually create an RTM, which is known as a requirement traceability matrix? What is RTM? What does the format look like? How should you create an RTM? So we are going to go ahead and understand all these things when it comes to RTM. Then we go to the test cases and the test data. What is test data and what are test cases? How can you go ahead and write test cases so that they'll help you find bugs? So what is the perfect way to write test cases? So the requirements that we understood from those requirements, how can we write the test cases? What is the format? What are the fields that there should be? We are going to go ahead and discuss all these things. Then we come to, to the test data part. So when we have to execute the test cases, we need test data to execute the test cases. So if our test data is um, extensive, we can go ahead and cover uh, the different various um, like you know paths here. We can do different kinds of testing here with that uh, uh, test data, which will help us find uh, bugs in a better way. So we'll understand what are the methods, what what are how can you go ahead and create test data which you can use for exhaustive testing. Once we are done with all these things, we we also talk about the test plan here. Now, what exactly is a test plan? What is the format of a test plan? Who creates a test plan? So when a test plan is written, what are the things that are included? So we go ahead and talk about all these things in this test plan. We also go ahead and share formats with the actual test plans that can be of some help to you to understand. So whenever we are learning all these things, this is not only theory, it is actual, in actual world, when you go for a project, how will you be doing all these things? Once we are done with this, we talk about the software testing life cycle. So what exactly do you mean by the software testing life cycle? What are the different steps for the software testing life cycle so what do you do in these steps how do you what what are the different steps in which order are they executed so where does the creation of the test cases test data where does a test plan come in the software testing life cycle so we go ahead and understand all these things when we are understanding software testing life cycle we also talk about defects we talk about the life cycle of a defect what does that mean so again it is everything is from the practical point of view once we are done with all this, we'll start with something known as quality center, which is a basically test management tool. So whatever work you had done right now, like creating the RTM, creating the test cases. So here you're going to do everything in this particular tool using this particular tool called quality center. So we will go ahead and create requirements here. We will go ahead and create the test cases here. We will learn using this tool, how can you execute the test cases from this particular tool? And then we learn that how we can go ahead and log bugs in Quality Center. So again, this is not from the theory point of view. There will be a proper team that we have who will help you install these tools on your machine. They will actually go ahead and do it for you. There are special webinars that happen for this. You will be given the time and the date when you have to log on to those webinars and we have our technical team helping you hands on there to install these softwares. Once these softwares are installed on your machine, I will help you with each and every step. So when I say that, how can you write the test cases in quality center? So maybe I will do it and then you are expected to do it on your machine. So if you have, if you get stuck anywhere, I will be there to help you out. So again, everything is hands on here. Then we'll go ahead and learn about SQL. So SQL is your structured query language. So using SQL, you can query the database. So we will be going in depth with SQL. So we have all the set of notes that we have created. There are quizzes. Uh, there are different websites that I'll tell you to go through. So there is a lot of information that is there. So first we'll start with the basic SQL. 
once we are done with the basic sql we'll go on to the little complicated one we'll go on with something known as group by having we are going to learn all these clauses in sql we are going to learn joins in sql so we are going to do this in uh, detail here once we are done with the sql we are going to go ahead and we'll start with something known as unix and linux so here we'll learn the commands basic commands for unix so as you can see this particular part this entire thing is your manual syllabus so once you are done with the manual part you are going to come and learn qtp and you are going to learn lr which is a performance tool so you are going to learn all these tools when it comes to automation once you are done with the uh, these tools again here also it's hands on so the faculty who is involved uh, in teaching you this everything is going to be hands on the tools are going to be installed on your machine and you will be learning how to do the testing once we are done with this etl sap mobile testing web services all this is also included in the course so here you will have classes for all these topics wherein you will have a basic understanding of how all this works once you are done with this there are projects here in different domain now why why have we included the projects here for you to understand what exactly how exactly does it work in the real world so there are projects for the for that particular project whichever domain it is it can be banking domain it can be healthcare domain so we give you a little bit basics about the domain itself and then we start with the project that in the real world if it's a healthcare project how does it work so we will take up a particular module and we will tell you that how it will uh, how the project can work so this gives you a complete overview of the entire thing so as far as the course is concerned this is the course that we have now why should you go ahead and do this course with h2k infosys so let me go ahead and tell you so here we have a huge course syllabus as you can see what i explained in the previous slides from mobile testing to web services to projects to manual testing to quality center to unix to sql to uh, Q, um, uft to lr so i mean it's a huge course syllabus that we are covering here now here you get a, a option to do a free demo class before you actually go ahead and make a payment once you've paid and enrolled yourself in the course you have a lifetime access to topic wise live class videos to watch any time before or after the live class and prepare for the next class so here there might be a lot of people other companies also who are giving you a videos that you can go, go ahead and watch but this is a lifetime access and this is such a big thing so after 6 months if you decide you know what i'm a little bit uh, i'm getting confused with quality center or maybe this part i didn't understand you're most welcome to come back and you can take up again you can take up that particular portion or the whole thing so this is one of the biggest uh, benefits of being with this particular course now these courses are instructor led so they are face to face it's not that you know um you go ahead and you start watching a video and if you have a doubt there is nobody uh, who can clear the doubt for you so that's not the case here because there will be an instructor you will be interacting with that instructor and the instructor will be able to help you out wherever you get stuck so we have material we have software for hands on practice so when i say we have material we actually have the notes that we have created for each and every topic so once the topic is over we hand over the notes to you so you can go ahead and you can read those notes and understand and keep a copy of them for your late, uh, future reference here we have a technical team that supports you to help you install the softwares on your machine so again there is a technical support team we have very efficient people who even if it sometime takes a long time they don't lose patience and they go ahead and install the softwares on your machine it is a 100% job oriented training why because it is truly hands on so like i told you whether whether it's understanding the requirements whether it's creating the test cases whether it's quality center whether it's sql so sql like you know we will install toad on your machine and we'll actually learn how to execute the sql whether it's quality center you will have that particular tool on your machine and you'll be working hands on now once you are done with the course and you think you are ready to go ahead and start giving interviews so here we will help you we also have faculty driven mock interviews now what do you mean by faculty driven mock interview so once you're done with the course you're going to get a link to a webinar which you can connect to 
sitting from wherever you are in whichever part of the world and you can connect to these mock interviews. So again, it's an instructor led. There'll be an instructor there who will guide you. So if you don't want to go ahead and give a mock interview, you can uh, very well listen to the mock interview and you can gain some knowledge. And once you get some confidence, you can also be a, a part of the mock interview. So when you give the mock interview, if there is something that you are not able to communicate in a proper way, then we'll have the instructor explain it to you that how should you actually go ahead and handle the technical as well as the behavioral questions. So these days, technical questions are very important, but equally behavioral questions you should be able to answer in the interview, such as like, you know, why should we hire you? Uh, what if we don't go ahead and give you a job? What is your weakness? What is your strength? Why are you looking for a career in software testing? Because a lot of people are from non-ID background and they're moving to this uh, career. So these are some of the questions that we help you answer. So once you are prepared with your uh, mock interviews, you are, you are ready to go ahead into the real world and give your interviews. So like I already said, you pay only one time fee and you can attend live classes multiple times. So here... It helps a lot of new students to review the topics again and again. So you're not clear about a particular topic. You are most welcome to go ahead and do this topic again. So again, it's a one-time enrollment and you have lifetime access to the H2K Enforcers material, videos and everything, which is a very, very big benefit in itself. So here, when you do a course with other people, you do the course, you understand it or you know, don't understand it, you're done once and you and that's it, you are done. You're not going to do it again. But here, you're associated with us for a lifetime. We help you with job assistance. We help you with preparing res uh, resume. So we actually have a team that is in place who will go ahead and review your resume and give you a feedback about your uh, resume. Because that is the main document which is going to come across in front of, uh, um, like, you know, which is going to talk about you. They haven't seen you, they haven't met you, but that is one document. If they are impressed with that document, then you start getting interview calls. So how can you go ahead and make a resume which can go ahead and you, you will be able to get interview calls. So here, like I already told you, we discuss about different projects, banking, insurance, telecom, domains which will help you get the job quickly. We will be giving you home assignments. We will be giving you um, like, you know, homework. We will be reviewing your work. And if you have any doubts, we'll go ahead and help you with that. Now, the training is based on the latest technologies and the current job market, as you can see with what I discussed in the previous slide about ETL, about mobile testing. So you can go ahead and... Um, learn all the latest uh, technologies that are there in the current market. So here we, uh, in the H2K Enforces, we have forums, we have blogs, we have videos, we have jobs for continuous touch with the technology. So if you go to the H2K uh, Enforces uh, website, you will be able to see all these things which are going to help you to get even more updated with the technology. So this is the website for H2K Enforces. And here we have forums. You have different projects where you can go ahead and refer to the material. Here you have, uh, you can go ahead and check the reviews for Google+, Kudzu, Facebook, and YouTube. And we go ahead and give you job placement assistance also. So if you want to go ahead and check reviews for any of the instructors, you're most welcome to go ahead. And that will give you kind of an assurity that you're at the right place. So as far as the course is concerned, this is what I had to go ahead and share with you. So if you have any questions, I would be more than glad to go ahead and help you answer those questions.